Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about ROM. ROM stands for Read Only Memory. Basically, ROM is a combinational circuit which has N input lines and M output lines. It is interpreted as a storage device. And N bit combination which we apply as input is interpreted as N bit address. And the M bit combination which we get as output on the application of this N bit combination as input will be interpreted as M bit word stored at that address here, here there are an input lines so two raised to power n distinct addresses are possible it means it is interpreted as that two raised to power n words of m bits are stored in this room So, this ROM could be specified as 2 raised to power n cross m ROM. Now, let now we will study the internal structure of 2 raised to power n cross m ROM. Right. It consists of a decoder that is n cross 2 raised to power n decoder and m OR gates. Right. This n cross 2 raised to power n decoder generates 2 raised to power n min terms of n input variables. And all outputs of this decoder are connected to each OR gate through links right now these links are broken to implement the boolean functions of uh, m output variables of 2 raised to power n cross m rom now it would be more clear when uh, we will discuss this room right it is a uh, 2 raised to power 2 cross 2 room right here this room stores 4 words of 2 bits each right so it has two input variables and two output variables, right? Now, the Boolean function of the output variables f1 and f2 is given here. f1 is the sum of min terms m1 and m3 f2 is the sum of min terms m2 and m3 right now this room has a 2 cross 4 decoder right this decoder generates four min terms of input variables a and b right Now, since this ROM has two output variables, right? So, it has two OR gates also. Now, the outputs, all outputs of this decoder will be connected to the inputs of each OR gate through links. 
now we have to break the links so that we can implement the boolean functions f1 and f2 f1 is the sum of min terms m1 and m3 right now this output and this output of decoder right this output of decoder represents the min term m1 and this output of the decoder represents the min term m3 so the links from this output to the input of OR gate and the link from this output to the input of the OR gate are closed and all other links are broken right breaking the links is called the programming of ROM right similarly here we have broken these two links to implement the boolean function after right now this is the internal structure of a 2 raised to power 2 cross 2 ROM right which has two output variables f1 and f2 and the boolean functions for these output variables are given here right so the, this is the internal structure of this row right of this row now one thing you must remember that ROM is a combinational circuit, right? Which has a decoder and OR gates, right? But it is interpreted as a storage device. Thank you very much.